חברת WeWork ערכה בישראל בימים אלה תחרות יזמים. אנחנו רוצים לדבר עם מי שזכתה במקום הראשון ביותר ממיליון שקלים. 60,000 דולר. אמרתי, אמרתי, אוקיי. נרשום. שלום, דוקטור יהודית אברהמס. היי. היי. שלום. What's worse, my English or your Hebrew? Uh, definitely my Hebrew. Okay, so we'll do it in English. Yeah. What is Monitor? Monitor is the first breast health monitoring system for the home. And yeah, you're uh, uh, pr- promoting it and trying to, to, to sell it, but now, uh, I mean, can, can someone use it now or is it not available yet? No, it is not available yet. It won't be available for some time. What, what, what are you doing now in order to so, promote it? Uh, what we have right now is an FDA-approved software okay, that has been proven. In, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It, it was proven to be to outperform radiologists by 15% in differentiating between benign and malignant tumors in multiple clinical studies across the United States. Okay. Um, so the majority of that work has been done. So what we need to do now is to match the ideal prototype. For it. And that prototype is a whole breast ultrasound device that's held in a hand that a woman performs on a monthly basis. In order to let women to do it alone, you know, when they just sit at home in or, instead of going out and see a doctor. Yes. And uh, this idea now, you have more than a million shekels. I, I hope it, it will help, right? Immensely. <laughs> and tell me about y- y- yourself. You're a new immigrant, right? Yes. Hola, Hadasha. Yeah, Bo Hashem. Welcome to Israel. Nine months, yes. <laughs> Nine months, yes. that's all. Yes. And where, where do you come from? from In the San, U.S.? From San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. And you also converted into Judaism. I did 24 years ago. Yes. Wow. And you worked as a scientist in, in NASA? Yes, I did, did for a couple of years. Um, so uh, during medical school, I went on uh, medical missions in several different countries, and I, every, every place I went, I noticed there was a massive lack of diagnostics, both imaging and labs. And so I decided to combine my skills as an engineer and as a physician to bring them together. And uh, I applied for a program at, called Singularity University on the NASA campus and received a substantial scholarship to do so. And through that experience, I landed myself a postdoctoral position at NASA for the next two years. Uh-huh. And what made you choose this country and this nation? <laughs> well, I'm a Jew. Uh, I've been wanting to return for 24 years. Um, I, I left because I couldn't get my Hebrew up to college level. I still haven't. Um, <laughs> uh, to go back to the States and go to medical school and finish my education. But 24 years went by. And I ended up with a vast amount of, of education that has culminated into this project. Uh, and now I'm back to make it a reality here. Now, this startup can, can change the lives of, of millions of women, maybe save their lives, right? Yeah. If it will work. Yeah. That's your dream? That is my dream. That is my dream and my purpose. And uh, who came up with this uh, startup, with this, the idea? You know, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. Um, and this idea has been in development for, for many years. It started when I was at NASA and I lost my cousin who was a breast cancer survivor and prominent gynecologist who was passionate about early detection of breast cancer. And so I started thinking about the potential use of ultrasound for early detection of breast cancer. And um, just over the years and through another position that I had and other collaborations and meeting scientists, the idea culminated um, in the last few months, really, and I filed a patent while I was here in Israel. You look surprised when you won. I, I, you know, thousands of people, so many Israelis, young uh, uh, startups, and uh, you were chosen. That was really an honor. There were other ideas that you thought maybe they will win? I mean, other things that you thought, hey, they're better. I, you, 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 know, you don't know. You never know what, what's going to appeal to people. Um, I, I didn't really focus on that. I just tried to focus on why I was there. Okay, uh, tell me what do you think about uh, Israel so far as a, as a doctor, as an engineer, as a startup woman? Um, how is it uh, I think it's, I think it's got to be one of the most exciting places to be. Um, when you're here, you automatically feel like you're contributing. You're somewhat of a pioneer when you come here. Um, and there isn't any other place in the world where I would want to do this. And the gentleman who actually developed the software, I found out much later, um, actually had a dream to bring it here to Israel. So I'm also carrying out part of his dream as well. Okay, yeah. You are a pioneer. Thank you, Dr. Avrams, and good luck. Thank you so much.